I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Like, what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? That Gabe never made it? No, I, I, it's not that, I, sorry. I'm really not ready to talk about it. Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him I had to think about it, but... Alex, I... I'm scared he did something horrible. Riley, thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Good. He's scared. Time to find out the truth. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first.
Okay, let's do this. I got Riley to tell me about your plans to leave town. That's not something innocent people do. Look, I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off! Leave me alone! Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me! It should have been you instead. Alex? to me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. You might not have been the reason he died, but you covering for their fuck-up makes you guilty, too. You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Cave and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? All right, Mac. Come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay?
Thanks. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> So, what are you going to do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm going to get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep- Coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Ryan. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead. Because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. 
You're not alone. gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no. He chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something... You should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. This is going to seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay, think of something sad, like breaks your heart sad. Really focus until you feel it. said you'll never hear it again. <laughs> never a dull moment. <laughs> the kinds of stuff we got up to. <laughs> Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, Stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? How deep do you think? Deeper than that. <laughs> the Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna stop you. <laughs>
Oh, that's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? <laughs> Gabe. Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I, I feel what they feel, as if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But... That, that was pure joy. Who else knows? I've never told anyone until now. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. You're welcome, I guess. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you.
speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. Say, I miss all the way.